Comrade Kerensky, where shall we create the Russian Federation? Ah, Comrade Trotsky, we shall make the Russian Federation here. My brother in the trenches, that is China. Excuse me, did I stutter? Welcome to Russia. It, uh, it's not really that Russian, but you know what? We don't talk about that. So, hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. It's I, Crusader King, and welcome back to another video of Hearts of Iron 4, Red Flood, where what if no one won the First World War? So today we're back at it again. Today we're going to be playing as Alexander Kerensky. Uh, don't worry. Adon! In something, something. We're just going to call this the Russian Republic, because despite its confusing name, welcome to Russia. Well, what's left of it, at least. Because, uh, as, you, as I guess if you guys noticed, uh, Russian Empire's still here, and it's still kicking. So we're gonna need to change that. So, there's plenty of things to do. First things first. We're gonna get literally everyone into one little thing. Second thing. Yes! Cause the famine! Kill everyone! Now, this, this might sound... Alright, this, this might seem like I'm shooting myself in the foot. It's all calculated, okay? It's all part of my master plan to bring back Russia to its, uh, well, it's, you know, non... Look, we're bringing back communism, all right, boys? That's all I'm saying. Look, we're left-wing populists. This is just, like, the next step in that direction, okay? So we're gonna do that. All right, we also need to start getting people... Oh, my God. Promises, uh, promises to capital owners. Capitalism. Why do we have capitalism in our system, Mr. Gerinsky? Do you mind explaining? Well, I actually don't explain. We're about to kill several thousand people, so, you know. Might as well save that when people start asking where the thousands of dead people went. All righty. Hey, guys. The Korea... The Korean People's Republic and the Korean Republic are now out. That's so goofy and silly. You know what, guys? You guys are so just... You guys are so goofy. How about I start justifying? Well, here we go. The ultimatum. Kerensky has pro often proclaimed to the carrot that decides to resign. All right. Well, we've got... Uh, uh, are, are, sir, are you okay? Do you need help? He looks so surprised, but yet... I'm not. Let me be real, because, um... Well, Kerensky has decided to, to, to uh, you know... To leave us and... Oh, well, the military stepped in. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, well, we've got people here, and we've got Trotsky, we've got anarchists, and then we have Yellow Russia. I'm just gonna go down to the nice chicken man, the revolutionary. Plus 525, uh, plus 25% war support, 5% political power gain, and ideological drip. So needless to say, we're pretty loaded out now that I think about it. So yeah, Trotsky's here, and now the soldiers are stepping in to, you know, ensure the uh, chaos doesn't go any farther. So, there's plenty of stuff we can get. I mean, look at that. Plus 40% reinforcement rate. We might be in the, uh, in the smack dab in the middle of the worst area when it comes to supplies. But you know what we aren't lacking in? Reinforcements. We're gonna be putting our troops because our war goal is ready. Excellent. Hello, Korean People's Republic. I sure do hope you don't mind me walking into your land and conquering it. Yeah, these guys might be failing, but I sure aren't. I'm gonna make a run for Pyongyang. Only issue it. Oh god, they've got a tank at me. Oh, alright. Well. All it required was two sacrifice. Well, actually, one. One sacrifice. And now we're succeeding down here. Now we're succeeding in the north. Excellent. Oh, yeah. We've essentially broken through, and all it took was one unit. And uh, how many was that? 16,000 dead. But I'm sure that we're winning now. And it's going to get a lot easier from here. Hello there, Korean People's Korean Republic. As you can clearly see, we're, uh, the Korean People's Republic failed in true communism. You guys are just failing in being a republic. I'm an actual republic. I am the Soviet Republic. Alright, buddy. Gonna need to puppet you guys. They will get the base focus tree, sadly. But don't worry about that. Alrighty, so. We got the Korean People's Republic forever now. And they, they do have the base focus tree. Which is actually not that bad. They get, like... Three military factories, two civilian... No, four civilian factories. And we get a puppet to share our stuff with. And also, it'll it'll be a nice detractment from the Fujian clique and the Mongol People's Army. It's time! Hi, South Korea. Don't mind me, we're just gonna do a little bit of trolling on your land. And, yeah, they, this is... Uh, this isn't even close, needless to say. It's kind of sad. Just speeding into Korea like this. I, I I really wish there was a 
It was a little goofier, but I, I guess I got them early, so yeah. All right, we're just going to go here and just going to take out all the land that they own. So that way, well, we can control it. All right, let's just go walk my horsey. Run, run. Yeah, all right, there we go. Not even close. All right, let's pass a couple times to get all the XP here. And we're going to just give it to this guy. All right, I can't do anything, sadly, but uh, there you go. Korea is now united, and that means they have a lot more power than they usually do. They have a lot of manpower that we can just exploit. And also, they're giving me some of their stuff. So, you know, a lot more to build in this land. That way, we can ensure that they never wish to be free from our control. There we go. We're going to get some quick divisions to be built, just so that way we get a little bit of a bigger army. The beautiful thing about these guys is that they think that I'm going to attack from Korea, but in reality, I am not. They are simply being trolled for the sake of trolling. <laughs> the Institute's Revolutionary Commanders are going to help us a lot with this. This is going to be great, I can assure you. All right, yeah, they do have some divisions. Only problem is, uh, yeah, my supply suck. All right, you know what? Do I really need all this oil? I don't think... Oh, wait. All right, never mind, never mind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, America. Take me back. Take me back to the oil boom. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, these guys are making more and more stuff, so let's just bring it to my front. We can build up our own army because we have a puppet. All right, let's do that. And we finally have one full army division. And this army, while well, it's mainly equipped with the other guys with 79 soft attack, it does actually have some decent uh, soft attack here with these divisions, all right? And we will gradually uh, make them better as time goes on, so don't worry about it. We're also going to go from early mode to partial mode. Harness the true power of our industry. What little there is, we will harness it, trust me. Yeah, right now we're doing really well, so I guess what that means is getting more GIB bat uh, battalions. It's always nice to just spam GIB battalions everywhere because they're extremely overpowered. Alright. Let's walk, my friends. Hey, guys. There's something nice right here. It's called an, a, a, a juicy, just one a juicy encirclement, man. All right, we've done it. We've done a little, a little trolling over here, and we've essentially gotten them. Oh look, they they, they just keep making forces. They just keep giving me reasons to take their stuff. All right, let's do that. Let's get the extra superior firepower, so that way we can just keep on doing a lot better here. The enlightened liberation front. Board of Supreme B- Alright, I don't feel too good about Nam. Man, them Nam, 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 Nam flashbacks, they come with good reason. Alright, from here I'm just gonna keep on going via truck, and we'll probably just march on the capital in a couple of days. Gonna need to get them to capitulate relatively soon, but we did end up getting rid of the, of the good majority of their army. Alright, here we go. Doctrine of Tanks? We don't use tanks. Autonomy is pretty good, and uh, no, we don't do divisions. Or defense, sorry. So yeah, alright, here we go. Now... For this, we can focus on mobility, front operations, focused on firepower. Ooh. We can get boldness of the new generation, which is a decent recruitable population bonus. Only problem is... Oh, wait, logistics! Logistics! I love logistics! Give me the logistic company! Me, me need logistics! Alright, go, my tank! I, you will never be resupplied. Oh, excellent. Alright, I'm actually gonna take these guys over. Just gotta unite Manchuria. My way, of course. That's one down, and there you go. Manchuria is almost united. I could probably take out the Mongols if I wanted to, and the Imperial Authority might win. 165 days. How many days? How many days? 165. The thing that worries me about the Mongols is that I really would like them to take out Imperial Authority first, so they're just going to declare war on these guys pretty soon. Oh, no, wait, no, 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 who caught my trade? No, America! No! <laughs> uh, oh. Oh my god, the Ukrainian United... Oh, hell yeah. Wait a minute, that's not a lot of oil. The Dutch East End... Yeah, buddy, look. Look, I know you don't trade with a lot of guys, but trust me. I'm a good trader, please. Please give me stuff. Please. Alright, we're gonna get this guy uh, a new general... Trotsky. Chicken man. KFC. Alright, there we go. So, now that my... My supplies aren't united. Okay. All right, there we go. The supplies are coming in. And also, we got better supply companies. That bonus will come in handy. We're also going to get War Austria chains. All right, it's green. Let's go. I see green. I see pretty color green. It is great. Things are going very well here. 
That's another guy down, and I think they actually have oil. But they actually do have a lot of supplies. No, they don't have oil. But they have, like, everything else, which is great. Alright, I'm considering just going immediately against the Beijing government. It could be nice. It could be a swell old time. Defending against the Chinese. Excellent. The Far Eastern Slavic Republic will be mine once and for all. Alright, I'm gonna justify a war goal. Just to see if anyone guarantees them. I don't think anyone will. But it could happen. Very well could, to be honest. Building socialism together, and finally, we can join the Rot Front. This could be good, it could be really bad, but it's a chance, I think, if we get them, if we get accepted or not. But luckily, we did end up getting a lot of nice bonuses here, so we're fine. Oh, maybe I can help them out and fume and get, like, a, like a little nibble of, of France or Italy or something. As long as I can, you know, take out the, the, uh, the Spanish, then maybe. Maybe I could spread my wings into Europe. And there we go, we've asked to join the Rot Front, and now we can start liberating the homeland. We get a couple of cores, especially on these guys, I think. So, yeah, this would be nice to core. I kind of hate that they're not cored. Oh, our war goal is ready. Alright, well, the railroad is also ready, so let's just, no harm, no foul. See no evil, hear no evil, let's go. Oh no, the Austrians are being attacked. I'm pretty sure they're gonna win, so it's, oh. Maybe not, actually. <laughs> they're burying their heels in their lands. Germany, come on. You're better than this. 70 divisions versus, like, 40. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Oh, never mind. Avant-garde France decided to join in, and uh, I don't think they're going to live, needless to say. France at war again. Okay, that does worry me a lot because... Well, because I'm in the faction, and, I, and I'm going to take a long-ass time to get over there. They're not doing too well, needless to say. G Germany is really not doing too hot. It was a mistake joining the Rot Front. I want to join just to get some extra war, uh, some war score, but I don't really think I'll be able to yet. All right, let's get the Strength and Discipline bonus for the extra recovery rate and organization. Organization is going to be nice. Uh, okay, so the thing about this one is I would like to keep a little bit of my land. I I'm going to keep their land here. I'm going to take over. Beijing and stuff. There we are. Yeah, this is good enough. I will take their navy because they're not going to need it. And now I'm going to just puppet the government, take all their resources, take all their factories, specifically these two, you know. There we are. And there we go. They gave me all their res- Oh no, it's not- it's not communist Mao. I'm so sad. I'm so sad, but they did end up giving me a very big industry. And they even have a lot of manpower that I can eventually abuse. All right. So I'm going to send Trotsky over real quick. Just, just got to make sure that my buddies over here in, uh, in Europe don't fall and, you know, utterly collapse. No, no, my trade keeps going. Okay. All right. United Communes of Brazil. You're going to need to help me out here. And you're going to need to help a brother out. All right. Navy's here. Let's go. I'm going to help him out in France. Doesn't really seem like they have much in France anyway. All right, how much war score do I have? 2%? All right, we're doing good in this world. All right, let's just keep on moving forward. We're, we're just going to keep on moving. There we go. Tanks can't even stop me. We're, we're, we're going to dig our heels into tours. To tours, my friend. To Schemberg. To Brest. Engineering companies have been bonused. And now we're going to get more stuff here. We're so good, the front lines are being completely demolished by me. We're blitzkrieging this one real good. Two divisions aren't enough for me. You can't stop me, France. All right, let me see if I can get something. Let me ask for Normandy. And that's it. Let me let me just quickly get Normandy. Oh, okay, cool. We got Normandy somehow. <laughs> yes. Welcome to the Soviet uh, French lands. It, it, it works. Taking that land. Excellent. All right, yes. Okay, we got a couple faction. All right, quickly. Quickly, uh, Austrian, um, no, I need to satellite Britain. Wait, no, 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 I don't know. No, 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 I don't know. No, 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 no. What do I need to satellite? Okay, I need to satellite these guys here. Andorra, excellent. All right, we're gonna, we, no, not in, what the f Is it saying, okay, who controls Catalonia? All right, it does appear I'm just gonna have to take Catalonia for myself and uh, puppet some other people in the meanwhile. I don't have a lot of leverage, which is the issue, but I would like at these, these two parts. All right, that's good. They did end up taking some extra land. However, 
I will make a quick demand for this land. Hopefully, they will give it to me. Hand it over, buddy. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, bud. All right, boys. We've done it. After some very successful negotiations, I not only got a colony in Africa, but also Catalonia. So, yeah, here we go. We we're going to do some good stuff here. So the only issue is here, it is the Spanish. I would like to take care of the Spanish. But, hey, on the... Whoa. That's a massive chin. Okay. Now... I'm going to do a little bit of tomfoolery. Let's say that much, okay? Just, just a tiny bit of tomfoolery. For these guys, I'm going to release as a puppet. Because that's just how it works. And I'm going to release these guys as a puppet as well. The French People's Republic. Excellent. Yeah, the reason I, I don't want this, I just... I need the land, okay? I could also just return, I think, the French land. Which is Catalonia, but don't worry about it. Alright, Madrid's the only thing I can take. So I'm just going to see that. How are you lads doing? With luck, I could probably ask, um, I could probably ask, like, my allies to fight. Oh! Oh my god, they returned all the land to me! Oh, that, oh, all right, that's fu that's cracked. That is cracked. I just got all the land back. All right. I didn't even see that. All right, all right never mind. We're, we're gonna win. We're gonna win, trust me. The Siberian War has occurred, finally. And they have, like, no units. So let's just move in right now. There we go. Oh, finally the Imperial Authority declared war on me. Problem is, uh, I'm kind of busy right now. Oh. Oh my god, we can make China into an integrated puppet. Oh no. Yep. Uh, there goes China. More factories for me. Less uh, rights for you. Yeah, Socialist China be looking kind of bad. Let me tell you that much. I mean, it's not that good. But that's not the main reason. They were just kind of a buffer to begin with. I have so much political power and factories that I don't know what to do with them. So I'm just going to be... Uh, I'm just going to be over here suppressing my subjects. Oh, cool. Finally, they are they are free. So I'm going to take a cool uh, uh, African colony. Actually, hold on. Let me, let me uh, reset everything. There we go. I'm also going to take out these small islands. They're now mine. And the rest, well, the rest just goes to, you know, uh, these lads. Excellent. Spain. Big word Spain. Oh, my God. It's the same Giga Chad. Hell, yeah. Vanguard Socialists. And we even have the Moroccan Socialist Republic, which is part of the Rot Front. And we ended up taking a nice little, um, what's it called? Just like a nice little colony there. Just have to expand the empire is all. Oh yeah, we've got plenty more factories. Essentially, we're just building everything here. And hopefully Spain can start building stuff now. All right, guys, I think this has been fun. <laughs> that was really fun. Um, playing the Soviets, essentially. It is a Soviet Republic, so you know, it's, it's all fair. It's all fair game. I do think that I think if you go down this route, you will eventually get like the USSR flag and stuff. But we did do a lot of good things. A lot of cursed things. We, we got France, all of it. We got all of Spain. We got all of Morocco. We got some extra colonies, you know. The, uh, uh, no, sorry, not colonies. The Liberated Workers Republics. But that's about it. Thank you guys so much for, um, you know, one point, uh, two point something at this point. Thank you guys so much for the support, and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, I've been Crusader King. Have a good one. Bye-bye.